Decades ago, Glasgow streets were ruled by notorious clans, casting long shadows over the city. Echoes of their violent struggles for power still resonate. Today, we will dive into the historical battles and the relentless pursuit of dominance that shaped the underworld of Glasgow. Who are the new contenders in this age-old war for control? Historical context. Glasgow's underworld was shaped by the formidable presence of Arthur Thompson, who emerged as a dominant figure in the 1950s. Born in 1931 in the working-class district of Springburn, Glasgow, Thompson first ventured into crime as a money lender, infamously harsh to those who defaulted on their debts. His criminal activities expanded to include protection rackets, bank robberies, and by the 1980s, significant involvement in the drug trade, particularly after his son, Arthur Jr., known as Fat Boy, took over the operations. The Thompson family's base of operations was known as the Ponderosa, a grand symbol of their wealth and power. Arthur Thompson's life was marked by violent confrontations, including surviving an assassination attempt in 1966, when a car bomb intended for him killed his mother-in-law instead. His response to the attack was brutal. He retaliated against the suspected attackers, leading to their deaths in a vehicular assault, setting off a prolonged feud with the Welsh family. His methods of maintaining control included ruthless violence, which secured his reputation and instilled fear and loyalty among his followers. The 1980s and early 1990s were tumultuous for the Thompson family, as internal conflicts and external challenges threatened their hold over Glasgow's criminal underworld. Arthur Jr.'s leadership saw an expansion into more organised criminal activities, but also led to his downfall when he was imprisoned following a significant heroin bust. This arrest marked the beginning of the end for the family's dominance. Arthur Thompson Sr. died in 1993 from a heart attack, and the subsequent power vacuum intensified the gangland wars, with subsequent generations struggling to maintain the family's legacy and control within the ever-evolving and violent Glasgow underworld. Developments following the death of Arthur Thompson in 1993 and the subsequent imprisonment of his son, Arthur Jr., in 1991, Glasgow's underworld experienced a significant power vacuum that ignited a fierce battle for dominance. The Lyons and Daniel families, two of the most formidable factions, quickly rose as principal adversaries in the struggle for control over the city's substantial 300 million drug market. A key event that highlighted the extreme measures these gangs are willing to take to establish dominance was the brutal public execution of Kevin Gerbil Carroll in 2010. A high-ranking Lions associate, this murder carried out in broad daylight signalled a dangerous escalation in gang violence that has since continued to intensify. The feud between the Lyons and Daniel families has resulted in a series of violent confrontations, leading to numerous deaths and creating a pervasive atmosphere of fear across Glasgow. The ongoing conflict has severely impacted community safety, posing significant challenges to police efforts aimed at maintaining peace and stability in the region. Notably, recent trials have revealed sophisticated tactics used by these gangs including the use of tracker devices and encrypted phones to coordinate attacks, further illustrating the advanced level of criminal activity. In 2019, six members of the Lyons gang were convicted for plotting the attempted murders of five men associated with the Daniel family, underscoring the relentless nature of this gang rivalry. These attacks, which spanned several locations including Glasgow, Manchester, North Lanarkshire and Renfrewshire, left victims with severe and life-changing injuries, including Stephen Daniel, who suffered significant facial wounds in a hammer and cleaver attack near Glasgow's M8 motorway. This cycle of violence not only underscores the deep-seated enmity between these rival groups, but also the complex evolving dynamics within Glasgow's criminal underworld. As new alliances form and old ones dissolve, the city's social and economic fabric continues to be shaped by these ongoing power struggles signalling a volatile and uncertain future for community safety and law enforcement in Glasgow current situation. As we move into 2024, the gangland conflict in Glasgow remains alarmingly active and has evolved with newer and more dangerous elements. The Lyons and Daniel families continue their fierce rivalry, 
which has increasingly attracted the attention of international crime groups like the Kinahan Cartel, illustrating the global implications of Glasgow's gang wars. This involvement has introduced more sophisticated methods of warfare, including the use of tracker devices and encrypted communication, as highlighted during recent trials where members of the Lyons family were sentenced to a total of 104 years for a series of attempted murders that spanned across Glasgow and beyond. Recent judicial proceedings have shed light on the brutal tactics employed in these feuds, including machete and hatchet attacks, which have left several individuals with severe injuries. In one notable incident, Stephen Daniel suffered significant facial injuries following an attack with a hammer and cleaver. These violent episodes underscore the increasing brutality and sophistication of gang conflicts in Glasgow, suggesting a grim escalation rather than a resolution. The continuous cycle of violence has not only led to significant casualties, but also perpetuated a state of fear across communities, impacting the social fabric of the city. Law enforcement efforts to curb these activities face tremendous challenges due to the complexity and the deeply entrenched nature of gang loyalty and operations. The involvement of international crime syndicates further complicates the dynamics as Glasgow's strategic importance in the drug trade makes it a significant arena for global criminal networks. This ongoing situation represents a critical juncture for Glasgow, one that requires concerted efforts from local authorities and international cooperation to address the deep-rooted issues of organised crime that plague the city. Societal impact. The enduring gang warfare in Glasgow has had profound and far-reaching effects on the community, impacting everything from public safety to economic stability. Despite significant strides made in reducing violence through initiatives like the Violence Reduction Unit, VRU, Glasgow continues to face challenges related to gang activities that are more sophisticated and covert than ever before. The VRU's holistic approach, focusing on early intervention and community collaboration, has indeed seen successes, including a significant reduction in violent crimes. This model has even inspired similar initiatives globally. However, the deep-seated nature of gang violence continues to instill a climate of fear across Glasgow, affecting local businesses and community life. The presence of gangs leads to heightened security concerns, discourages business investments and strains economic development. Moreover, Communities with prevalent gang activity experience a higher incidence of theft, vandalism and violent crimes, which can alter the social fabric of the area, leading to a cycle of poverty and crime. The psychological impact on residents, including increased anxiety and reduced quality of life, is significant. Families and businesses in these areas often find themselves disproportionately affected, which can deter new investments and slow community progress. On the societal level, the financial cost of addressing gang-related issues is substantial. Local, state and federal governments invest heavily in prevention, response, incarceration and rehabilitation efforts. The economic burden of gang violence is not only felt through direct expenditures, but also through the indirect costs of reduced property values and higher insurance premiums in affected areas. Efforts to combat gang influence in Glasgow must therefore be multifaceted, incorporating law enforcement, community engagement and significant investment in social services. These strategies aim to not only curb the immediate threats, but also address the underlying social issues that fuel gang recruitment and violence. Despite the ongoing brutality of these conflicts, Glasgow's spirit remains strong. Communities are fighting back, demanding a better future for their families. The battle for Glasgow's soul is far from over, but its citizens refuse to be defined by violence. Are you intrigued by darkness that rules Glasgow? Subscribe for further stories and share your own perspectives in the comments. Together, let's delve into the shadows that shape this city.